on it, Raptors guard, Jalen Rose! What up, though? What's happening? How y'all doing? Great, Jay. How you doing, man? I'm real good. I'm real good. What's up, Sal? What's up, what's GP? What's up, family? What's going on, baby boy? All good. All right, what's going on behind you? Is that the Spurs practice, or what is that? No, it's some media guys that can't really play, but always criticize everybody else trying to run up and down and play a little bit. <laughs> Nothing worth watching. We shouldn't even be filming those guys. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds like me, Jay, but I appreciate it. All right, guys, let's break out tonight's starting lineup. Brought to you by feeling more pressure, Detroit or San Antonio. Everybody has pressure from the coaches with suits and ties on to every player, but I will have to say San Antonio's testicles may be a little tighter because they're playing at home. But Detroit is the defending champion, so it is game seven. Everybody feels the same. I think, you know, I always say pressure makes diamonds, baby. Get really, you know, really tight up in there. It's going to, the rim is going to get small, and I'm telling you, Detroit's going to come out victorious. That's my, you know what, that's what I say. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. You always say that, man. And I've been right. What is Detroit I basketball again? Detroit basketball! <laughs> yeah! Nice. GP, you disagree. Yeah, I disagree. I, I think um, San Antonio's going to come out. I think um, Tim Duncan going to make some free throws now. Tony Parker going to step up. It's going to be a good game, though. I, I think it's going to go right to the wire. You know, Tim Duncan's just 7-17, seven by the way, from the line in the fourth quarter throughout this finals. Uh, Rob, have you been disappointed by his play? Well, not just his play, but somebody else has to take the ball. Robert Ory kind of stepped back, wasn't taking shots, and Tony Parker, like you said, has to step it up. Somebody else has to take the ball and, and take some shots. Ginobili cannot keep driving through five guys. He's not going to make it. But when he drives, he, you don't know what he's going to do. So, shoot, he's going to even throw it away. Or, hey, you, you know, you got to give him an outlet ben or Wallace something. showed him know? at the end of the yeah, game, right? Yeah, back you got to give him an outlet. I, I think um, Parker and all the other guys got to show up a little bit more. All right, Jalen, there's, there's pressure to win the NBA championship. Then there's the pressure of playing in Game 7. Is it different for players out there? It's totally different playing in a Game 7. Everybody talks about playing in the NBA. Everybody talks about playing in the playoffs. But Game 7 is a different level. It's an intensity that you can't match. And uh, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to get sleep tonight. Well, you know, I think it's the same way. I, I think, Chris, I've been in a couple of them myself. A lot of people are going to have a lot of butterflies coming out in this game. But whoever makes the most to start off making baskets first is going to get their confidence up. But if you miss one, it's going to be a long night for you. I just think there's not going to be that many butterflies because it's got to think it's going to be tight on people. Anyway, <laughs> but I, I've, just, I've been in some, and I know exactly what, it, what they're going through. And what they're going through is you hate this middle day. This day right here where the media comes around and asks these questions, and then you hate that the game is going to start tomorrow night. You want it to start as soon as you wake up in the morning to get it over with. And I just think Detroit's going to come out victorious. All right, before we do move on, that's all right. You can say that. Real quickly, guys, I am curious. Who would you rather have coaching Game 7 of the NBA Finals, Larry Brown or Phil Jackson? Sal, I'm going to start with you. Phil Jackson, because I worked with him, I played with him, and I haven't played for Larry Brown. GP. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> well, I, I was going to pass it to you, but no, no I, I'll take Phil, too. Oh, that's well, political. Take, take Phil and do what with him? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You like how you push that button? Yeah. Where's that button at on I you? I feel taking because, you know, he doesn't want more, more games like this. Uh -huh. He's got more championships. He's got nine, something like that, and Larry yeah. only has one. So I have, I have to go with Phil. All I right. say Larry Brown. He's the reigning champ right now. It's his team in the, in the finals. Jalen, you get a vote before we move on. How soon we forget? This is a what have you done for me now world, definitely. Phil Jackson's got nine rings. Let's be real. All right. <laughs> now, Jalen, as always, he had a uh, fantastic time in San Antonio pre- and post-game six. Uh, what happened out there? Well, pre- and post-game six, like you said, I got a chance to rub some elbows and use you guys' VIP pass real well. <laughs> so uh, follow me and see who I saw. We see you out here, man. Cast that parade. One more, baby. We built for this. One more. We built for it, man. Come on. We can't do it easy. We can't do it easy. It Yo, this your man Jalen Rose, post game six. You know when you met your man Jalen Rose, you're behind the scene. I want y'all to look at how the Spurs were really set up to celebrate a championship tonight. Ha ha, guess what? We got seven games going, baby. Deluxe! Yo, what you think about the fact that San Antonio, the team in the state, actually planned a parade for Thursday night? Don't y'all got plans for them on Thursday night? I thought we had a date, you know what I mean? I thought we had a date with them. Um, I guess they overlooked us, you know what I mean? 
and uh, I think they're going to have to put that thing on hold. Yo, I'm here with my man Riff Hammond, a big game. Way to shake loose this evening. What did you see tonight on their defense What allowed you to get loose and start knocking down your medium range shots? Oh, this is my teammates a little bit better. You know, I think that tonight I just wanted to, you know, every shot that I had wide open, I wanted to take it. I don't want to try to, you know, force it because he, you know, he likes to get contact and things like that. So I just try to take the shot he gave me. Speaking of contact, I saw you get hit in the face and your mask kind of got knocked loose and whatnot. And I see you kept your composure thinking about throwing the ball at Bruce. You know, it, it was just one of them things I just told the ref, I'm not going to be a cheap shot dummy. You know, I'm not going to allow him just to keep hitting me. You know, and I did want to throw the ball, but, you know, Rashid just said, man, just keep it cool. You know, we got bigger things to try to accomplish. It's like a heavyweight title fight. It's going seven. Thursday night, it's going to be seven games. It's official. We got an NBA Finals going here. Spurs, Pistons, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jalen, I'm not sure I heard that right when you were interviewing Rip Hamilton. Did he say that Rashid Wallace kept him in line? Yeah, picture that. Rashid's doing it all out there, still in the ball, <laughs> leaving Ori open, and keeping Rip in the game. Picture that. <laughs> that is crazy. Hey, guys, I don't know if you saw this as well. Uh, the board in the Pistons locker room last night. Uh, San Antonio had already scheduled a victory parade for Thursday. Look at this. And so the Pistons used that for some bulletin board material. Well, that wasn't the only inappropriate remark made by the Spurs that incensed Detroit. We actually have a few others that came along, like, there's no housewife desperate enough to date a Piston. Oh. <laughs> uh, how about this one? Uh, question, how much will Rashid score in Game 7? Answer, around two and a half ounces. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> and finally, has John Sally been working with your big men? Because that boy Darko really knows how to sit. Oh! <laughs> I felt it coming. Ooh. I knew it was coming back to me. But boy, that two oh. ounces thing is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like when we're on the edge, but Dib, you took us over the edge, Dib. Oh, I love that. All right, uh, you know what? A lot of us don't have a rooting interest up here for the most part. Sal does, obviously, because he's, he's an alum of the bad boys. But all of us early in the series kind of started rooting for Detroit. Here's why. I have a bet with uh, so, Sally. Uh, Sally, what is the bet? If, if the Spurs lost, I would come on your show in a bikini. If the Spurs Ooh. won, he's coming on the hey, show in a hey. Speedo. Oh, Jalen, you gotta you gotta hook that up tomorrow night. If the Pistons win, the pressure's on you to deli deliver Eva Longoria. I know I, I'm up for the task, and I'm up for seeing Sal and the Speedo on TV. Oh, I hope you've been working out, baby. I hope you I hope your core is intact. Oh, I'm gonna be so cut up, man. Ooh. But it's not making a difference because Eva's gonna be sitting in your seat. Uh, and that's what's up. She can have it. She can sit on my lap. Oh, easy, Jalen. <laughs> See our finals correspondent in just a bit as we run the best of Jalen Rose from the NBA Finals. Guys, we are just tipping it off tonight. Here's what's next. Still to come, it's been an unforgettable NBA Finals both on and off the court. And our own Jalen Rose delivered some of the best assists. Which Michael, Tyson or Jackson? <laughs> <laughs>